In this step, we will learn how to copy a toolpath and reselect geometry. The main advantage of copying a toolpath is the parameters for the first toolpath remain intact for the second toolpath. Toggle the display. Select Operation 1. Right click and hold, then drag the operation below the first one. And select Copy After. Then move the insertion arrow below the second toolpath. Click on Geometry in the second toolpath. Click Select Machining Chains. Right click in the area and select Rechain All. Then select the chain at the bottom of this pocket. Then press OK. And press OK again. Then press OK a third time. Click on Parameters. In the toolpath type, select Preview Chains and minimize the dialog. Press Escape. Select Tool and click Select Library Tool. Click Filter and change the diameter to 0.625 and press OK. Select the 5 8 flat end mill and press OK. Change the comment to Use Area Mill to Machine the Second Pocket. Select Depth Cuts, Enable Depth Cuts, and change the Max Rough Step to 0.25. Select Transitions. Ensure Entry Helix has a radius of 0.5. Then select Linking Parameters. Ensure Top of Stock and Depth are both set to Absolute with a value of 0. Click on Top of Stock and select this endpoint. Click on Depth and select this endpoint. Then press OK. Because we modified parameters in the toolpath, it is now dirty and needs to be regenerated. Select all operations and click Verify. Then, minimize the simulation window. Return your view to top and fit to screen.